Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Black Widow Deadly Origins and Jubilee Arena is over, round one is done. Uh, Jubilee was the basic, and Black Widow Deadly Origin was the featured. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the leaderboards. I did not go for either of these two champions. I already have them as five stars. And after that Colossus grind, I'm not looking to grind any more six stars real soon. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. And uh, <laughs> and I got Black Widow Deadly Origins as a five star, uh, barely, but uh, by accident. Uh, I was not going for her. Uh, I was going for the one to five percent in both of the arenas. I got it in the basic and uh, I got her and a thousand. The, the thousand uh, six star shards is really what I'm after. Uh, the only thing that I miss out by getting her is the 5,000 five-star shards. Instead, I get a new champion. That's it. Okay. Now, I believe my five-star is already awakened as well. Um, but uh, we can see here, I got the 1% to 10%. Let's take a look at this leaderboard first. And I did not get the final milestone. I'm still recovering from that grind. And I was not trying to do a lot of arena. So I waited um, almost like an entire day. Didn't even grind uh, my six star. I think day one, I ended up uh, working on the T4 basic. That was on, uh, I think, Thursday. And then I can't remember Friday. I might have uh, continued on there. I can't remember exactly what I did. I was out of it, y'all. I was out of it, okay? Uh, so, uh, I was pretty late, you know, skipped a lot of rounds. And so this morning I was like, okay, let me get one more round. I, I skipped one round of my six stars, but I don't need all rounds of my six stars in order to put up a high score to get the shards. And as you see, I ended up getting the champion with it. So we'll, we'll take a look at that when we get there, but uh, I don't expect to see anyone that I recognize. Now, something that I have noticed here, it looks like we are getting a lot less of those accounts that look real suspicious. I hesitate to call them bots because I don't know for sure. But I do know that the names that we were seeing uh, were very suspicious. You know, they, they had very similar names with like one, two, three, stuff like that. Is very suspicious and we're not seeing as much of that here uh if you watched my my previous videos you saw that was pretty much all you were seeing nobody was even in a guild it was just all of those types of uh names there but it looks like uh kabam uh cleaned house so at least for now where we might actually see some names uh, of people that uh we may recognize all right, so this arena is the arena that I would recommend everyone do if you want units. It's more of a grind, but it has the most units. Um, I try to do this one all the time, but like I said, uh, after that grind, I'm still recovering, but I still managed, I actually use boosts. That's the only reason that I got to 4.1 because I haven't been using boosts. There was no need. But this time I said, you know what? I've got millions of shards for those greater solo. And in the greater solo crystals, you can get four star boosts. So I opened up a few hundred of those. Still got millions of shards left. But I opened up a few hundred of those and I started using those and I might start doing that. But what I also found out is you also get, you know, the three star three time boosts or whatever, those, um, what I would do is I would use my, you know, get, get through all of my maxed out four stars and my 440s. But at some point, the boost with a three star, they were giving me the three time boost were giving me about 20K per fight. Whereas unboosted, my four stars 
at like 440 at the lower 440s um they were giving me like 10k so once i used up all of my four star boosts i stopped using my four stars and switched over to the three stars but i did that a little bit late or else i would have been able to get the final milestone so that's what i'm going to be doing there's item use on right now i have like over 30,000 points in it uh because of that so that's what i'm going to be doing uh, it was much, much less time for sure. All right, let's, um, we'll leave that one for now. Let's go to uh, Jubilee. And that's the score I put up. Now, uh, the top milestone is 4 million. And I, I don't think I ever did a full round of my five stars. I did some and then stopped. Then when I felt like it, I ran some again. Um, so... This one, uh, we got, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I did miss one time uh, the shards uh, because, you know, I was uh, going for Colossus. And so I skimped in the featured. And so the featured, uh, what's up, Ribbon to Rock? Congratulations, man. Uh, the featured... I, uh, I I fell short, but if I had run all of my six stars every time, well, you'll see the score that I put up uh, running them about five times. All right. Let's see, ID Slim. Congratulations. All right, hold on, hold on. Because I wasn't really paying attention, and that's how I miss people. Um, especially some folks that have all kind of spaces in their names, you know, like that. Uh, I, I don't always catch it unless I'm really paying attention and looking at it. Okay. Just want to make sure I did not miss anyone because I missed someone last time. Shout out to Spawn. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let me try to pay attention, uh, to what I'm doing. So ID Slim, congratulations. Like I said. All right, and let's see if we see anybody else in this arena, the top 100, get the champion. So these are folks that are going for Jubilee as a six star. Uh, there we go, KT1, uh, rank 69. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, KT1, or AKA the Kiru, uh, he probably did a nice leisurely grind but in this arena, it's not quite as easy as it used to be. Because six stars give the same points as five stars, you're not going to see the crazy high scores that you used to see. Uh, I got Colossus, but it was a brutal grind. Pika, pika. Um, it was brutal. That grind that I did all together was a grind that would have gotten me about a hundred million in the featured arena. But I put up, I was able to put up 57. Had I used all my six stars and everything, I would have been able to get um, over 60 uh, million points. But that was the equivalent of me grinding like a hundred million in the feature. It, it's, it's rough. So yeah, uh, M3J. How you doing, man? Uh, fellow dork, uh, I am sorry to see that. Only the top 100 guys get the champion uh, as a six star. So everyone from Shen 1138 down got the five star, which means Shrew Joy, and I know, Shrew J, I know you were going for the six star. So my condolences, man. Uh, and I was hitting the help. Um, anyway. Let's see Ben Riley. Haven't seen your name in a little bit, man. I don't know if you were going for the six star, but congratulations on getting the five star. In case you didn't have the five star. All right. Let's see anyone else. These guys may have gone for the five star, but generally speaking, uh, if they put up enough to get on the boards at a higher rank then they were probably going for the six star. Um, but you still have some like me who just like to flex and push 
and see what the roster can do every once in a while. So even though I wasn't going for the six star uh, in one of the featured uh, uh, previous featured arenas, I still ended up putting up like 90 million, 90, 90, I think I put up 95 million. And I wasn't going for the six star because I knew he wasn't going to go that low. But I wanted to see what I could do currently. You know, I hadn't done that in a while. And that's how I know that without boosting or refreshing, I'll be able to put up 100 million. So boosting and refreshing, uh, uh, it would take me still quite a bit to get some of these uh, new champions. All right, so that is the top 200, 201 to 500 also get the five-star champion. So congratulations for everybody who got the five-star that wanted the five-star and condolences to everyone who went for the six-star but missed. Now, that is the score that even skipping a round of my six-stars, that's what I can put up just using my six stars. I did not use my five stars, not once. And I barely got, you know, uh, <laughs> barely got uh, the champion here. But uh, this is what I'll probably end up doing, just running my six stars five times, and that's it. Uh, that seems to be enough to get me either a low hanging champion or the uh, shards black gamer 21 congratulations man all right Let's see anyone just like in the other arena the top 100 get the uh six star champion so these are uh folks that got the six star black widow deadly origins all right let's see if we see anybody else we recognize and see, I see some names that I, I often see on the uh, leaderboards. Dakish, congratulations, my friend, on that new six-star Black Widow Daily Origins. Now, uh, some people sleep on her. She is, I think, a bit underrated by a lot of people. But she has a lot of damage that she does. It's, it's crazy. It, it's kind of like damage sneaks up on you. Coat hanger. Haven't seen your name up here uh, in a little bit, man. I can't remember if I saw it, but congratulations. You wanted that Black Widow, eh? Um, but yeah, so her damage, you know, she doesn't have like the big giant um, yellow numbers all the time, but those shock, they add up and they, they sneak up on you. She has very high damage. It just doesn't look like it because she doesn't do her damage in like big hits, you know? Uh, Karate Mike, congratulations on that six star Black Widow. All right, Sanmio, congratulations. Haven't seen you by the stream, um, but good to see that you are doing well, getting these six stars. Okay, so Skull Red is the last person that got the six star Black Widow Deadly Origins. Maximilian. And wrist. Do not slit your wrist. They missed by that much. Missed it by that much. Where's that from? Missed it by that much. See how many of you old heads know which uh, TV show that is from. Uh, leave a comment if you know. All right. So, yeah, all of these here. Uh, probably were trying to get the six star, but they got the five star. So this is great. If I didn't have the champion at all, I wouldn't feel bad grinding out a good high score, whatever score I could put up. Because even if I miss the six star, I may get the five star and I'll still get a new champion. So loving it. Now, when Hercules comes to the contest, oh, that's going to be a rough grind. I am hoping uh, to open up a few crystals and maybe get him in the crystals, even a, a five star. That way I don't have to worry about uh, any, any uh, grind. 
and then I can just go for the shards. Um, but if I don't get him in crystals, then I'm going to have to grab him as a five star. No way I'm going to go for that six star. That six star is going to break records, I think. Um, all right, so we're coming down to the end. I didn't see anybody else's name I recognize, but I could have missed it. My eyes will glaze right on over. Uh, but that's going to do it. 201 to 500 also got, as you saw, the five-star champion. I got 461. So the cutoff was probably around, I don't know, 25, 26. It's hard to tell. But I was close to the cutoff. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Also, let me know what you think about my new ending. And you all have a blessed day.